guys, Seth here. I wanted to share what I just learned with my new ballast song trainer. It's called the Up Down Up. It took me forever to get this because a lot of the tutorials just didn't make sense to me. So I'm still learning it. I literally just learned it like five minutes ago. But uh, that's basically it. Now, if you see how fast I'm going, you're like, well, I can't tell what the hell you're doing. And that's my problem with a lot of these tutorials on YouTube. They're going so fast, they show you once, and you gotta um, keep pausing it. So I'm gonna do this like three or four times for you guys, just so you guys can tell what the hell I'm doing, because like, I kinda messed that one up. All right, the up, down, up is a uh, pretty fast way to open up the, the ballast song. Um, the blade's gonna end up facing you, so be prepared to turn it um, to face your opponent or whatever. You want to have it so it looks like this in your hand. You're going to be holding the, the safe handle. Let the, uh, the bike handle drop. This thing's still kind of funky. You're going to bring it up, bring it back down, and then swing it back up. And then, of course, the blade is facing you. So once more, down, up, change grip. Open, you open your hand up and then bring it back up. Drop. Swing back. Swing down. Bring your thumb out of the way. And there you go. Blade's facing you. But it's easy to turn in the hand. Now what, what was confusing me is the guy that I learned this from, he didn't explain to, to me that you have to um, uh, change the grip again to, to close it. So to close it, once you once you do the up and down, you still have to turn it, regardless if you're gonna be in combat or not. And up, down, and then the knife's closed. So you're doing the same thing twice, just you know the blades open once and the uh, uh, second time, you know, whatever. So, drop, Ooh, that would have been bad. This thing is sticking. Drop, up, down. And then, of course, fast, it's a lot easier. And then drop, up, down, back up. So it's basically, you're, you're twisting, you're just opening your hand up in different, in different uh, steps of the knife. And I kinda got confused there. <laughs> I'm still not an expert, it's still fun though. Uh, I can do it, you know, almost every time now. The only problem is, is uh, the, the latch gets caught in the blade, but that's butterfly knife, what you expect. So, one more time from the slow motion. Drop. Holding the safe handle. I need to loop it loop over all the, you know, all this thing up. It keeps sticking up here. Let's see. Let's try this again. Drop. Turn. Looks really hard, but you're not really doing anything except moving your thumb out of the way at the right time. And then I've already done this one. So I'll drop. Mm -mm -mm. Ballast mm -mm -mm. are a lot of fun. But you notice I'm using a trainer this time, not using a real one. So that's it, guys. Up and down. One more time. One more time. I gotta do it one more time. Drop. Bring it back up. Bring it back down. Bring it back up. Blade's facing you. Turn it. Let it drop. Bring it back. Bring it down. Make sure your hand's out of the way. And then the knife's closed. So, once again, fast motion. Ah! The thing is sticking. It's sticking. You know what? Let me try to roll I'm probably going to regret doing this. Yeah, the real one actually does a lot better than the fake one. 
less blade play, but I'm still having that problem with the, the latch bar. I guess it's the momentum, so drop, up, down, back. This thing feels so much better than the trainer. Up, down, but be careful. This is a real knife. It will mess you up. Just remember, respect the knife. I need to work on that latch. Getting stuck. It's probably something I'm doing wrong. Uh, let's see if I can get it again with the trainer. I'm kind of pissed off now. <laughs> you really got to put some momentum into the trainers because uh, they the blade the blade tends to stick. That's it. I'm done playing around. I'm gonna go learn some new tricks. Peace.